Listeners are saying goodbye to a local radio personality well known across the airwaves. Sarasota DJ Annie Summers recently lost a two year battle with cancer. SNN Local News 6 reporter Jessica Jordan spoke today with her friends and family. Jessica. Well, Annie Summers was a big supporter of local music artists and could often be seen at community charity events. Her family shared a few photos and memories with us. She was always smiling, mm -hmm. always, always loving life. To friends and family, she was Mary Ann Solemn, a woman who was full of life and dedicated to her career. But to her listeners, she was Annie Summers, the enthusiastic radio personality they heard when they tuned in to Light 92.1 FM and 107.9 WSRZ. Annie Summers keeping it going with Sarasota Bradenton's best music variety out to Annie. Oh, she was inspirational on a daily basis. We had such a great time. She had such a passion. For radio. Summers worked as a radio personality for 32 years before losing her battle with ovarian cancer on July 26. 92.1 Light FM. Wrapping up that she was diagnosed two years ago. Doctors told her then that the cancer was already at stage three. But friends say she kept working every day, even when she was going through her chemo treatments. That's how she sounded bright, very bright, and always fun on the air. And right before she keyed that microphone to go on the air, to psych herself up, she'd go, woohoo, every time. She followed in her brother's footsteps to become a radio personality. He remembers inviting her to co-host his oldies radio show in Washington. He called the show Solemn and Solemn. I struck a little deal with her. I said that uh, uh, I would return the favor and be on the air with her in Florida at some future date if uh, she would agree to do two weeks with me as my sidekick, and uh, she agreed to do it. She was fantastic, a consummate uh, professional. She was funny, smart. Summer's life partner Susan Waters has a collection of photos from the broadcaster's early career. This is her first uh, radio gig back in uh, Duluth, Minnesota. Summers worked in Orlando, Tampa, Pensacola, and Sarasota. She created her own show, Sunday Acoustic Brunch, which aired locally. How did she feel about retiring? She didn't want to. No? She wanted to stay in radio as long as she could, behind the mic. Mm -hmm. And she would still be there if she could. And the family is not having a funeral, but they are gathering this weekend to celebrate her life. And that event is not open to the public. Lauren?